Hey guys, my name is Sajak Pudwal. If you're thinking about preparing for GRE or already are preparing or for it, then you must be knowing that learning words is a very tough task because the number of words that you need to learn for GRE is a lot. So I'm here to help you with that. First of all, uh, the problems that you guys are facing are, is that you don't know where to learn those words from and you don't know how to learn those words. So this is where I come in. I scored a 325 and GRE and this is all my personal experience of how I learned those words and the resources that I used. So make sure to watch this video till the end so you get all the informa information about how to learn the words and also I'm gonna also gonna talk about the resources that I used. Yeah, so first of all, I want you guys to install two apps in your phone. One is the Magush Vocabulary Flashcards and the second is Galvanize Vocab Builder. So the Magush Vocabulary Flashcards has uh, around uh, 20 sections with uh, each section containing around 50 words that comes up to be around 1000 words. So it, it is very very helpful as uh, this app what it does is it will basically show you a word. It will show you like a flashcard. Then you click on that uh, flashcard and it will show you the word's meaning along with two options. Yes, I know this word. No, I do not know this word. So when you click on yes, I know this word, it'll keep it stored in the mastered category. And if you click on the no, I do not know this word, it'll keep it in the review category. So what this app does is, whichever words you have kept in your review category or the not learned category, it'll keep, the, it'll keep showing them to you again and again and again. So eventually you'll start to remember them, though you'll have to solve the sections again and again so that you get a better understanding. Next thing uh, I want to talk about Galvanize Vocab Builder. The reason why I really like this Galvanize app is because it shows you visual mnemonics. What it does is it will show, show you words along with MCQs first of all. You have to select which ones uh, you know and which ones you do not know. After that thing is sorted out, the words which you do not know, it will give you visual mnemonics for them. So what, I'm, what I mean by visual mnemonics is basically attaching words to images so that you can basically uh, connect with them very very easily. What a brain does is it, uh, visual, it uh, remembers images far better than words. So it's really easy to remember images as compared to words. Uh, let's take an example. For example, uh, let's take the word uh, monactyls. So for monactyls, as you can see the image over here, it shows you chains. Uh, so basically it means chained or something like that or chains. And uh, the second word that we can take is uh, plaintive. Plaintive means gloomy, sad or dull as you can see with this image. It's very very easy for you to uh, reconnect the image with that word. Yeah, so the next thing, Galvanize has 33 sections with, with 30 words each. That comes up to be around 990 words, which is the same thing as Magush, around 1000, approximately 1000 words. So, what I need you guys to do right now is solve one one set each of Galvanize and Magush and stick with one of these apps. If you like Magoosh, stick with Magoosh. If you like Galvanize, stick with Galvanize. And complete one of these apps. Finish, finish it off. Now I'm going to talk about that, the books that you need to learn the words from for GRE. First of all, this book. This is Wilfred Funk. Six weeks to words of power. First of all, what you guys need to do is learn all the words from it. It contains around 500 words. Then the next book is Balance Essential GRE Word List. It has 800 important words and 333 high frequency words. What I mean by high frequency is uh, these words occur many times in the GRE repeatedly. So they are a must if you are sitting for GRE. Now you guys will be like learning from apps and all is cool and awesome. But how do you learn a word that you come across which is not a given, in a given in one of these apps like Magush or Galvanize? What do you do about that? Like a word that you come across in Wilfred Funk or the in balance or the, a newspaper that you're reading or any movie that you watched what are you going to do about that so that's when the mnemonic dictionary comes into play and the, what i want you guys to do is go to www.mnemonicdictionary.com over here let's take the example let's uh, take the word e b b eb So, ebb means a gradual decline or decrease. So, the mnemonic for this is given over here. Mnemonic memory aids for EBB. Related to egg. Nowadays, eggs, because of blood, bird flu, the quantity of eggs coming to the market is reduced. So, this thing can be used as a mnemonic. So, you can directly relate, oh yeah, 
ebb i i can relate it to egg yeah gradual decrease in decline gradual decline because of bird flu and all so you can remember it very very easily let's take another example deluge an overwhelming number or amount or a flood so dell company it's huge so when the dell company advertised its product there was a huge rush of requests a deluge of requests requests or a flood of requests so they are all synonyms so it's very very easy to understand these words in this way now if you guys have completed wilfit punk balance and also one of these apps magusha galvanize it doesn't matter whichever it is and if you have more time in your hand then you can go ahead and complete both of these apps magusha and galvanize both then it'd be totally great totally awesome so this was my first video on youtube uh, if you guys if you guys found this video helpful uh, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel because i'll be coming out with similar videos related to jiali preparation toffel preparation your sops lors application process i'll be helping you guys with all sort of things all sorts of things and uh, also i'll document the whole my whole experience uh, of studying abroad also if you guys have any suggestions uh, for the video please leave them down in the com comments below and uh, also you guys can follow me on instagram and facebook again my name is sajak purwal thanks for watching <laughs>